Hey y'all, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here to show you this new template that I created for Canva. You can purchase this template at the Photobox Designs on Etsy page. Um, and I'm gonna drop some links in the comments below so that you can find it easily. So here you go. This is a Christmas cardboard box Photoshop, uh, Canva template. You can also find the exact same one for Photoshop if you prefer Photoshop as well. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is I'm just going to show you that I have a couple of little instructions for you at the very top. Um, and then on the second page and the third page are two templates. One is using the grid method and one is using what is essentially like in Photoshop clipping masks, but this is the Canva version, which is their frames, two different methods. And I have two different reasons why I would use them. So the first one, let's show you how I would get started. I'm going to go over to uploads. If you haven't already, you're going to upload your files uh, to Photoshop to uh, Canva. I keep saying Photoshop. I'm so used to Photoshop. So you're going to upload your files, your, all your pictures to Canva. You could even if you're taking pictures on a cell phone, you can even do it um, via the Canva app as well. So once you have your photos uploaded, this template really was made to be used specifically with cardboard boxes. However, you can really use this with any kind of photos you like. It's not, you know, you do not have to use photo in, in the box, cardboard box photography. Uh, unfortunately, all my in the box photo shoots have been with a rectangular cardboard box, and this really just fits the square aspect ratio. So I'm going to demonstrate using one of my white boxes on how I would use this template just using a white box and show you different methods. So um, I've already uploaded a couple of pictures. I did not crop them in advance. You can crop them in advance before you upload them. That's fine too. In some ways that actually makes it easier. I'm going to show you how I would do it. I'm just going to go to the picture I want. I'm going to click on it and it brings it right into the canvas. And I'm going to just take the top and bottom and I'm going to crop it right there before I do anything else. Crop, crop, crop. There we go. All right. And make it a nice and square. And then I'm going to go to the top here. You always know in Canva when you, what layer you're on when there's a purple line around it. I'm going to go to layers and I'm going to say send backwards. And now it is behind the grid layer. And then I'm just going to move it into whatever box I want. I'm going to resize it and boom, there you go. Now, the one thing I don't love about Canva, uh, which is why I don't use it as much as Photoshop is, you know, you have a little bit of less control. So if your box is not quite as square as you, you know, if you didn't get the uh, shot as square as you would like, you don't have those warping tools that you might use in Photoshop. But um, while I'm in here, I can still, I can sort of turn it a little and make it a little bit more square for myself. And, and there you go. It's not perfect, but it's good. Now, what if you wanted to have things give it that little magical illusion, like having things going from one box to the other? Well, I've discovered a way to do that with this grid. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this photo in, going back to my left side, click on it, and I'm going to crop it just the way I did the other one. But you'll see that my heart is hanging over, and I do want to give it that illusion, like I'm going to bring the heart and drop it into the box below. So I'm going to crop it up to the heart and then leave it there. Go to the three little buttons, go to the layers panel, send it backwards, just like I did and decide what box I want it to go in. I'm going to have it go into this box, I'm going to make it smaller so it fits under the grid, but I am going to leave the heart hanging down just like this. Okay. And don't worry, we will resolve that problem in a second. So now um, I can't, actually click back into that layer because it's behind the cardboard box template layer. So you can click on the cardboard box template layer so that it brings up these three little dots again, click on them, go to layer and go to show layers. And now on the left hand side, you could see all the layers that are in your, uh, in your project, which is super cool. So I'm going to go to that layer. Actually, it's this one. That's the layer right there. Now you can see that it's the correct layer because I have the purple around it. And hovering on the left hand side, I'm going to click the little three little dots and I'm going to say duplicate. And it will duplicate it and bring it to the top of the layers. Now, this is actually the one that's very, that's on top, which is exactly where you want it. And then it's also the one that's highlighted. 
and I'm going to go to background remover, the BG remover. Now, this is a Canva Pro feature only, I believe. So if you're not a Canva Pro user, you won't be able to do this. And I guess you would have to maybe try to cut out the background in some other platform. I'm not really sure. You might want to just stick to using photos that don't have anything hanging over. But for Canva Pro users, I thought this was a cool way of cool uh, function to show you. So now I'm just going to press background remover and it cut the background out of that photo. So now she's literally out of the box and I'm going to just kind of drag it and hover it over the other image till it's perfectly on top of the image below it, which would be this one. All right, but don't worry. You can still see that the other image has its um, box hanging through. Now you're going to go in your layers panel to the layer that's on the bottom, the one that's below the one you cut out, click on it. Now you can see it's highlighted. You're going to drag it from the bottom up, which is essentially cropping that layer. And now you have the effect like she's dropping the heart from one to the next. Isn't that cool? This is one of the reasons I actually didn't even use Canva for a long time because I didn't know how to create this effect uh, until I finally figured out a cool little workaround. So that's how I would edit this, this box, uh, this template, using this template if I wanted to have things passed through. Now I did give you a second option with the boxes. So this is more like a drag and drop. This I would use more if I, um, if I already cropped my photos, it would make it super easy. Uh, since I have not cropped, if you already cropped your photos, what you could do is you can just grab a photo from your images and then you can hover over the box you want and it will place it right in there for you. Um, since I didn't crop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on it and it brings it into the canvas. Okay. And I'm going to be careful not to let it drop into anything yet. Then I'm going to crop it right now. All right. Crop it into a nice square. And then I'm going to take it, drag it over whichever box I want it to go into. And then voila, it's in there for you. Now it's not perfect. So if you, if you need to make some adjustments, you should go onto that box, double click, and then you can, you know, you can drag it a little bit, make it a little bigger. You could twist a little to make it, make it feel look a little bit straighter. And, uh, and you could just keep doing that until it, you've adjusted it the way you like it. And then that's it. So this is a really uh, quick and simple way to drag and drop photos right in to your template. It, it's not quite as simple to do anything that overhangs. I haven't really figured out uh, a good method of doing that with this drag and drop method. So that's why I provided both uh, templates for you. So I've also given you a couple little bonus items. Um, this is just a box that has a wreath in it. And this is just an empty box in case you wanted to use some empty boxes. You all you have to do is, you know, drag them. You can, you can copy them and then paste them into whichever template you want to use, or you can just drag them from one to the next. Uh, you can also duplicate them and you can make them smaller and bigger. You can use it however you need. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoy the template. Uh, again, this is Elisa from Photobox Designs in my Etsy store and the link to this template is in the comments. Thanks so much.